Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are, uh, Hi. As, as you can see, in Borderlands 2, um, with what appears to be the Red Mountain in the background. Oh, um, yeah, the volcano. I've never actually, I don't think I've been to that volcano yet in my gameplay. Well, tell so, us about the game. Well, we're playing Borderlands 2, which is the sequel to Borderlands, which was described in a pitch to Gearbox, which is the company that made this fabulous game, as a mashup between Halo and Diablo. And for a lot of the part, it is that. But it took that, gave it a Mad Max vibe, and then flipped it on its head with <laughs> a good dose of Tarantino. He, he, he knows He knows about this game. I don't. I I've played never Borderlands played this game. 2 almost to completion, and I have played this game to let me see what my highest level character is, to level 30. I have put in over 87 hours into this game. I love this game to death. And I'm going to be walking you through and laughing at his inadequacies. Yes, because I've never played this game before. Never. Um, although I really like the cell shading. I love the cell shading in this. So, so the art style in this game is amazing. But it'll only get better as you go on. But, enough talking, let's jump in. Yes. I'm going to turn the volume down just a tad. Uh, Had you, hadn't you already done that? Um... <laughs> Well, I, I still didn't get it right. Uh, okay. All right. Ready? Just about to start a new game. Um, or what, so what happens? We're gonna shut up for the intro cinematic okay. because Marcus is amazing. Okay. He, the guy is talking is actually uh, the guy who drove the bus from the first game, and he sold you all the guns. Mm. And we get to meet him in person this time. And a lot of people um, question Borderlands for not having a much of a plot, and this game. 2K and Gearbox heard that and then said let's give it a plot and it actually does have a plot but Q you won't understand the plot because you've never played the first game. I'll, I'll try to pick up. I'll try to yeah. follow. And I'll, and I'll explain. Okay. Ready? Starting new game now. So, you want to hear another story? Huh? What? Oh, freezing up a bit. <laughs> Happens. If not too bad, I'm telling you anyway. First, there was the phone. A misty gunky. The warriors, the vaults, just a container of. Q, would you be upset if there was a container full of tentacles? Would you be disappointed? Uh, I. Well, what, what, what was promised to be in there? Treasure. I don't know. A, it's, it's pretty cool. To, I don't know. A jar full of an octopus is pretty interesting. I know but. octopuses are pretty damn cool. <laughs> Just so you know, Q, their base is a giant H hovering over the planet. I see that. It's amazing. I'm looking at that right now. And bring order to the savage planet. Through their excavations, Hyperion uncovered evidence of an even greater... this was Cinema Sins, there'd be... Narrating. Ding! Yeah. I really like the art style of this intro cinematic, though. It's like a, it's like a movie storyboard. It's pretty cool. ...for the next false alien power. The call of danger and loot is not so easily resisted. Certain warriors came to Pandora. So I take it those are the guys in the first game? Uh, no. No, no, no. The guys in the first game are already here. These are the guys from... These are... This is... This is our current cast of characters. Right. But I... Call them Vault Hunters. Uh, whatever. Never mind. Our story begins... Uh, the guys you saw at the beginning... No, they were not the people. Uh, the guys you saw fighting the tentacle thing, those were the guys from the first game. That I knew. I, I knew that that was a... Alright, we're in the... we're in the more... we're in the world. Jack needs you to save Pandora. <laughs> Vault Hunters wanted. Oh, look at the poor little skag. Oh dear. Wait a minute, wait. How did that, how did they pull that off? That, that was what I, I, I was thinking about that, how they actually got that around its leg. Like, did they shoot it at them? I was gonna say sci-fi, forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. That looks ridiculously unsafe. This looks the like the beginning proof, of a gorilla's video. Death proof taught me anything. It's that this is a really bad idea. This looks like the beginning of a gorilla's video. And this music, yeah. Yep. It's definitely a gorilla's video. <laughs> Too close here. 
presents. Yeah. Oh, look, he lived. That that's cool. Nope. Nope, he did not live. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that was not there before. That nightclub stuff. The track clearly ended, and then there was an open space, and then suddenly there's rail on the other side. That's true. This, this, this doesn't seem like the most like professional operation. To your doom. Nothing personal. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs>